It is late winter in the Rocky Mountains. Inside this snow-covered beaver lodge, a mother beaver and her young, or kits, are quite warm. Born only a few weeks ago, these four kits will quickly grow strong as they nurse on their mother's rich milk. Outside the lodge, warm spring sunshine gradually thaws the ice-covered pond where the male beaver is ready to swim. He gives nature a helping hand by breaking the ice that is formed overnight. Beavers are aquatic animals, superbly adapted to living in water. The calm, deep pond surrounds the lodge, which is made of branches and mud. The beaver uses these same materials to build a strong dam across a stream to form the pond. Usually, only one beaver family inhabits a lodge and its surrounding pond. Rivers flow swiftly in spring, and melting snow has raised the water level. For the beaver, it is time to repair dams that have been damaged by the spring runoff. This beaver carries a bundle of branches to a break in the dam. He uses his teeth and front paws to wedge them carefully into the break. Clumps of grass, mud, and even rocks are used to plug the gap or build new dams when branches are scarce. The sound of rushing water first signals a beaver to the break in the dam, and he will keep working until the damage is under control. Beavers are mostly nocturnal animals, preferring to work through the night and early morning. But when necessary, they work into the day continuing to carry building material from the nearby banks of the beaver pond. The beaver is wonderfully adapted to his aquatic environment. Thick fur keeps him warm in icy mountain water, and a very thin second eyelid, much like a pair of goggles, lets him see underwater. Webbed hind feet swiftly propel the beaver through water, and he steers with his broad, scaly tail. He can hold his breath for up to 15 minutes. These kits are learning to swim. They grip their mother's fur with their teeth for extra help. Small kits bob like cork and have difficulty diving. But when they gain enough weight, they too will swim and dive as freely as their parents. After a swim, beavers maintain the water-repellent quality of their fur by carefully grooming themselves. They use their nimble front paws to comb oil from a body gland into every part of their thick fur. This heavy coat insulates a beaver from the cold and icy water. The kits learn to groom by imitating their parents. Actions learned by imitation like this become a part of the kit's behavior for life which is usually a span of about 12 years. Beavers are herbivores. The fertile banks of the pond provide them with a good food supply. Tender leaves and bark of willow branches are the preferred foods of beavers in the Rocky Mountains. After carrying a branch to the bank, they use their front paws to feed on the leaves and stems. By the middle of summer, the kits no longer depend on their mother's milk for food. They easily help themselves to a willow snack. After the leaves are stripped, the remaining branch will be used to repair a leak in the dam or to strengthen the beaver lodge.
In the fall, beavers are truly busy. With four large front teeth, this beaver chisels down a tree with surprising speed. He cuts it into manageable pieces and drags them to the pond. With all this activity, the beaver prepares for the approaching winter. He carries branches to the lodge, where they are stored in an underwater food cache. When ice seals the pond, the beavers will rely on this supply for all their meals. After growing all summer long, the leaves and branches of aspen trees are high in nutrition. The short autumn months are the beaver's last chance to feed on fresh food until spring. They fatten themselves on leaves and bark for the long winter ahead.